think my sense is that they technically sell out every game. Mm -hmm. because they one thing I noticed this year is that there are more people wearing Portland Timbers gear than that. There's something about a championship that makes people want to wear this stuff. And I think in Portland, soccer kind of fits in some ways because, mm -hmm. you know, in Portland and Oregon, there's there's a little bit this vibe that, hey, we're doing our own thing. We don't like right. to be told what to do by the East Coast or Washington, D.C. And you know, because soccer is not the dominant sport in the United States, it fits that, you know, people mm -hmm. here sort of support it a little bit. It's, it's yet another moment of Portland doing something a little bit different. So I feel like there was... Um, as people started moving the city, I don't know what it was, but for some reason the Timbers, they, they just got more and more popular over time from 2001 until they announced for MLS. And once they announced for MLS, then it kind of went through the roof and all mm -hmm. of a sudden, um, you, know, you had to get there early for a game. And it used to be, you know, back in let's say 2008, you could just walk in the stadium 10 minutes before a game, sit down on the Timbers army. And yeah, you're good. and you're fine. <laughs> now, of course. I think, I mean, I don't know how much more popular the Timbers could be, really. I mean, they're extremely popular. You know, they're selling out. They're talking about making more space in the stadium. Um, they've been extremely successful. You know, I mean, obviously on the field last year, but their, their front office has been extremely successful at, at um, marketing the team. Through with hope and Wednesday my empty arms were open Thursday waiting for love Waiting for love Thank the stars this Friday I'm burning light